Last week we spoke. Uh, last month we spoke about the ball semen explosion, uh, where uh, there was a fire in a artificial insemination plant and sperm was flying everywhere, and we had a conversation discussing <laughs> is ball semen in Red Bull. Oh yeah, uh, and it's, it's one of those things that everyone has heard of. Everyone okay, when they, yeah. maybe it was when they was at school or was reading it online, but they've read that there's a chemical that's in ball semen that is also in Red Bull, and that's that's the that's what we were discussing, and we yeah. didn't know the answer. We yeah. did we did say it's taurine. Yeah. It was like oh it's taurine, yeah. but we don't know what that is. So yeah. I've looked it up. Um, there is no ball semen in Red Bull. Um, there is taurine which is an acid that is found inside ball semen. Oh. It is also found in most animals, okay. including humans. So okay. if you was to... So it's human semen. I don't know if it's in our semen, but it's in us anyway. Okay. Um, so, it, and it is a chemical that is in most animals and it is also in ball semen and it is in Red Bull. Um, the reason there's that crossover is it's named taurine after the Greek word for bull. Uh, so like Taurus and taurine ah. is, is the Greek word for ball um, because it was first discovered by isolating the bile from an ox. So that's where they first found this chemical um, ah. from an ox. So I guess they, they just named it after the ball. And then when Red Bull became a thing, there must have been, which does have taurine in it, people kind of put those things together and right, made yeah. sort of like an urban myth out of it. Isn't um, that a, is that an example of the Mandela effect or is it not quiet? Cause don't it's more, it's more think just about a, that, yeah. yeah it's more just, a tribal, <laughs> more just a tribal myth, I suppose. Yeah, I think it's more of, yeah, one of those like urban legends or yeah. whatever, like the, uh, yeah. that gets passed down through like school playgrounds. Um, yeah, tribal knowledge. Yeah. yeah. So I looked up and I think Red Bull even have like a page on their website about it, but it says Red Bull, Red Bull claims that their drinks are produced synthetically. So the taurine does not actually come from... They don't extract it from animals to get the taurine. They can produce it synthetically. And um, most energy drinks also have taurine in. Uh, PETA, the uh, environmental animal People's people... People's ethical treatment or something like that. Yeah. People's they, ethical treatment. Yeah, on their website, Monster Energy Drink is even listed as vegan. It doesn't have any animal uh, parts in it. So... Okay. There we go. Fact check from last episode. That was actually interesting. Yeah. That was, um, I enjoyed that. So 